maintain that up. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell you something. Family and friends, listen. There is this man that calls himself a pastor. Oh my goodness, Jesus. He, 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 he. Let me tell you something. This man was sitting on a, a, a podcast or whatever he was at justifying witchcraft when it came to Beyonce. Hold on. Anybody in their right mind know what's in operation here. This man sat on his platform and he talked about everybody. He talked about some folks like they was ugly. He talked about folks and, and who they was. But when it got to Beyonce, he said people was jealous. He said people was trying to look like her and, and wasn't doing a good job. He says people were jealous of the gift that she has. Come, man of God, people were jealous. Let me tell you something. He said people was jealous of the gift that she had. And watch this. He says that that, that if she was to call some of us down, even as believers, and, and pay for our limos, he said that most will go, and most will go under the unction that maybe God is calling me to pray for her. I'm here to tell you, you will laugh. You will laugh. Any real true disciple of Christ and believer would not sell them souls out for a dollar. That's not what we do. If Beyonce would call us down, number one, we would not charge her. It would be a privilege, but she would have to understand that when we get there, she must bow down to our Supreme King. We will, she will understand that when we get there, that her crowd is now about to become the crowd for Jesus. She would have to understand that baby ain't no whole bars. She, 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 Beyonce wouldn't call her a, re, a real believer down because that witch and that spirit that is in operation, it knows that when, 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 the, when the Lamb of God, right, when the Supreme King, when the great, the, the great Jesus, right, they understand understand that when it mounts a platform baby that they whole kingdom got to come down so number one number one for the pastor to even make that statement that is if, if a believer got the call that wouldn't be a believer baby that would be a sold out fake wannabe christian that's not a christian baby that would be somebody that's not really for god do you understand what i'm saying that would be somebody a wolf that would be somebody pretending to be like they in god that would be somebody that's ignorant maybe that would be somebody that's a babe in christ let me tell you something but no true disciple of jesus christ will go for any of that and let me say this to you he turned around and justified her behavior and said maybe she's just under an influence of witchcraft like we all could be <laughs> maybe she's under the influence of witchcraft but then in the same voice in the same tone he turns around and he says he says this he says let me let y'all understand what witchcraft is right he said witchcraft is manipulation and it's intimidation and it's control right he says but let me say this he said that's what witchcraft is he said but on top of that he said you know so if you come in a church and you gossiping that's a witch he said if you come in the church and you're trying to whisper and sow discord he said you come around that's a witch so he can identify that people in his congregation and folks who come and do this or talk about the pastor and do all this that's a witch but Beyonce is just under the influence of a witch come <laughs> so no 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 what you just let us know is that baby you will sell out that you ain't all the way there that that you will go down there that maybe she she's fine to you that that you would disregard the witchcraft that she's operating in you would disregard the stance that let me beyonce makes it no secret baby of what she's serving and what she's doing when she said my behind baby listen the, the, a woman already explained that my behind baby you in her high baby you in her 16.5 million dollars and one doggone day for three days that he had the audacity as a pastor to say this is a gift in operation baby let me tell you something the bible says this he says choose this day who you gonna serve he says either you gonna serve me or you gonna serve mammon and if you look up the word mammon mammon says god he says because you cannot serve both because you will love one and you will hate the other he says when you come to me you gonna either be hot or cold he says because if you're lukewarm baby i will spit you out 
of my mouth. And this is biblical, okay? So watch this, watch this. God never said that if you're going to serve me or you're going to serve the devil. No, he says if you're going to serve me or you're going to serve that $16.5 million. And so these pastors, right, is giving her praise because of the money, right? They're not giving her praise because of Satan because Satan don't even have that much power, right? But Satan know how to influence people. Satan influences people with money. He says if I make the ticket high, if I make them a celebrity, if I make them glorified with all this money, he says I can draw them to that pond that I'm using. And once I draw them to the pond that I am using, now I have opportunity to manipulate the whole entire people. Let me tell you something. Beyonce made an album, and I don't listen to her, but I but I understand the album. The album she made, the Renaissance album, right? From what I'm understanding, this album is promoting not only house party and not only fun music, but it's promoting the LGBTQ community. Okay, so she is giving ground to this new this new trick of the enemy when he's causing not only a race war, but now he's causing a war against gender. Do so you understand me? And so beyond. Beyonce is becoming that pillar. She's becoming that corner. She's becoming that, 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 that image for the kingdom of darkness to promote all of the gender confusion. And see, this and about this, this is, y'all gotta understand this. Millions of dollars to millions of dollars to promote an agenda, baby. Hey, nobody got a gift that to that magnitude. Do you understand me? You better look at Michael Jackson. You better look at where he's at. They using her as a pawn, baby. And see, the real believers, we understand this. We understand the trend. We understand the trance that you will be put under. You can listen to the music. And now let me, let, let, let me, you, you, you know this is of the enemy. Watch this. You know this is of the enemy. When she's putting horses and she's using biblical scriptures to do it on her stages. That she's putting tunnels. She's putting portals on her stages, y'all. Y'all got, y'all know, y'all know. If, if anytime you got to do your music, watch this. <laughs> You got to do your music and you got to mix your music with evil and good. God already told you. He says, wait, watch this. You won't either choose who you're going to serve. If you're going to mix your music with the spiritual, not just any spiritual, but the biblical knowledge, the biblical principles, the biblical things that are being used. Do you hear me? Anybody in their right mind know that this girl is beyond witchcraft, baby. This girl is leading. She's a leading as a high-ranking demon, demonic, angelic force. Do you understand me? Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> and it ain't no and, 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 and it ain't no God force. Let me tell you, it ain't no God force at all. It is working in a spiritual realm like no other. It is the high powers that the Bible talks about. It is spiritual wickedness at an all-time high. And I'm gonna leave y'all with this. This this man, I mean, this man triggered me. I could not believe. That he was justified. And then he said this, y'all. He said something. He says, he says, y'all looking at Beyonce. He says, but she's practicing. She's practicing those dances. She said, he said, she's practicing those dances. She ain't just coming out the blue with those dances. And she, I mean, she's, she's practicing them. So, you know, y'all got to give her credit because she's putting in the work. <laughs> Let me give y'all a little quick story of the Bible, right? There was a man who was possessed with a demon, right? And so the people was trying to come into his town. And as they were trying to come into the town, they could not come because he was running them off and he was cutting himself. And he was, you know, he he had chains and he was doing all this stuff that nobody can come into the town. Okay? He was possessed with demons. And when, when he met Jesus, you know, he said that he had legions. Okay? The, the demons spoke and like, we are legions, but we are many. And y'all got to understand, legions can be anywhere 6,000, 12,000. Let me tell you something. And those spirits had him doing things that he would not normally have done if he was free. Which the Bible says when he got free, he started going around telling everybody. He changed. He went around telling everybody how he was free and who did it. But let me tell you something. You say that Beyonce cannot be used by something operating in her body to cause her to do what she does. Oh my God. You know you ain't got no spiritual warfare sense. You ain't got no spiritual. I ain't saying that you can't preach a little word, but you ain't got no revelation in the spiritual realm, man, sir. Listen, 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 listen. You think Beyonce, even Beyonce said it years ago. She says, when I get on that stage, I remember when it was about Sasha Fear. She says, when I get on that stage, Beyonce leaving and Sasha show up. And she says, I'm normally quiet. She says, I'm normally quiet. I'm very shy. She says, I don't really like to talk or be around people. But when I get on the stage, she says, something else shows up. She says, something else take over my 
body. Just like we say the Holy Ghost take over us, right? And we know it. And we know that when we are shaking and we're shouting, that it's not us. And she says, something else takes over my body. But that something else ain't the Holy Ghost, baby. Because the Holy Ghost is pure. He is holy. He only do what the Father allows him to do. So you telling me that you think Beyonce is operating out of her own strength? I know you're spiritually ignorant. She's operating with a demonic realm that takes over her body, baby. Are you talking about ancient demons, ancient history that knows how to get in your body and perform the dances because the dances are seances. The dances mean something. The dances are structured a certain kind of way to manipulate and to draw the people in, to make them amazed only to finish them off when it's all said and done. Listen, listen, I'm going to get off of it, but I'm going to let y'all know. Especially supposed to be preachers and men of God. You got the audacity. You got the audacity to justify this girl behavior. And then you want to talk about everybody else's. It could be witches. No, 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 no. That's beyond a witch. That thing is running a whole empire, baby. That thing is a, is a, is a principality. It's a principality. It's taking over regions of things. Do you understand what I'm saying? This thing is bigger than that. And I know some more spiritual warfare folks can dig in deeper. But I'm going to tell them just, just a little bit. I could not believe it. So, I'm not here to convince nobody of where to go and where you shouldn't go. But I say this as I always say to the believers. To the believers, mm, God says you know better. You know better. Are you going to sell your soul out? Because you ain't supposed to worship no other God, little gods, but me. He says, I am a jealous God and put no one before me. And if you going somewhere lifting up your hands and you shouting and you praising and you falling out and you're all in excitement and you feel like, oh my God, it was so empowering. Really? The only person who can truly empower you is Holy Ghost. And if anything else is empowering you, it's demonically laid. And so I will say this to you, baby, you're going to need a cleansing. And after you didn't got through promoting that God and worshiping that God up there on that stage, baby, that old God, that old principality, that old wickedness, baby, you're going to need the real God to show up with some Holy Spirit power to operate, to remove whatever them legions or demons that you didn't put all over yourself. Until next time, this is your sister, Trigger Preacher, also known as God's Girls. And I'm going to say this. For God I live, <laughs> and for God I die. Ain't no sellout spirit over here. In Jesus' name, God bless you.